This week's feast. Jimmy. Mom. <coughs> I'm sick. Then the show now. Make me some food, please. Uh, 你想吃什么? I don't care anything. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Legend of Corn Noodles, Mom. With fish broth. They're green. And delicious. So, Feasters, today we are making authentic water tribe noodles, which is kind of a comfort or soul food to Cora, who hails from the water tribe. Now, to really get the accuracy down in this recipe, we made sure to do some research. Now, the world of Avatar and Legend of Korra draw heavily from many different Asian cultures. For instance, the use of many types of martial arts, the thematic ideas of balance, and the four elements. Also, food. The southern and northern water tribes bear a strong resemblance to the Inuit culture of the northern Arctic areas of the world and parts of Mongolia with their dress, their names, and their lifestyle. To make authentic water tribe noodles, Noodles, we assume that the basic soup broth would most likely be vegetable or fish based. For the green color in the noodles, the water tribe most likely would have used flour infused with the juice or dry extract of actual seaweed, kelp, algae, etc. So for our flour, we've gone back to the ever healthy and nutritious spirulina, which also gives our noodles that distinct green coloring. And to top it all off, we're going to teach you how to cook like a real avatar with all four elements. Alright mom, show us what you got. Start by cutting the end third of some green onions off. Then slice some chunks of ginger, smack that down and crush it. Wash out your fish meat or stock with some water. Just give it a good rinse to clean it off. You've mastered your first element. Add these three ingredients into a pot and fill it near the top with water. Stoke the flames of your stove and feel the heat. After bringing the mixture to a simmer, scoop the scum off the top, put a lid on it and let it sit on the low heat for a few hours. Hi Let's make some dough. Karate, two cups of flour, one teaspoon of spirulina, and a quarter teaspoon of salt together and mix it up. Add three quarters cup of water and stir until you get a ball of dough. Add flour if the situation gets sticky. Place some plastic wrap over the top and let your dough sit for a half an hour. <laughs> Good job! Flour your surface and toss that dough on there. Remember to draw from the strength of the earth when you're kneading. Hiya! Afterwards, use a rolling pin and roll your dough out and continue to flour the surface on both sides. Now carefully fold the dough over itself, flouring it each time. Then with a knife, cut out slivers starting from one end to the other. Gather your bundles together and toss them with more flour. Firebend another pot of water to boiling and cook your noodles. Ours cooked very quickly, so keep an eye out on them. How's it taste, Mom? Now that your noodles are done, give them a rinse and put them aside. Your broth should be pretty good at this point. Separate it from your fish bones and meat. Add a little salt if necessary, then combine your two parts together and that's it. Voila, bonjour, hello, hello, water tribe noodles. This is as authentic as it gets, straight from a master Mongolian chef herself, Mama Wong. You've mastered the elements, now it's time to take a break from all that pro bending and eat, slurp, and devour to your heart's desire. You deserve it. Jimmy, dinner, come on. Oh yeah, thanks mom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ready? Thank you.